Okay, so I'm up to no good again in the shop. Uh, I got my little lathe out. I got a little metal chuck on it this time. This is the expander, powder through expander out of my 3220. And uh, as you can see, I've been turning on it a bit just with a file. This is made to work with a uh, 312 diameter jacket of bullet or a 314 diameter cast bullet. And my 3220 has a 308 barrel, so what's happening is I go to see the bullet and it goes right in, so I gotta be really careful and only only expand the first little bit of it. So anyway, I turn this down. I turn it down to 306 from the tip. I'll get a pointer here. From the that's not good. Right, that's better. From the tip here, and I put a new bevel on the tip right back to about here. I turn down to 306, and from here up, that last, I don't know, 3 sixteenths of an inch for 3 mil is 320. So that'll give me a little, little bell to get things started, and I got a nice taper, a, nice, a better taper than what was on there. Uh, originally, I was having quite a few that it would catch on this edge and destroy the brass, so I had to be really careful. Hopefully this will will uh, remedy that. So I'm going to stick this into the die and see how it works, and I'll add that on the end of the video. Okay, so I tried that, and uh, it's still a little bit big. Um, actually, just as it's sized is about right, so for this is for the plated or the jacket of bullets. So all I really want is just that last two or three millimeters for the bell, and I gotta get rid of the rest here, so. And this is just a cheap wood lathe. I bought it off of eBay. Uh, I could have bought the same one from, from, uh, damn it, Princess Auto. Uh, XS Cargo is another one. I think I've seen this one at Dartmouth Surplus. For you guys in the States, I'm sure that Harbor Freight or someone similar carries them. Now this is a hardened steel, so it does take a while. You can just go over it every once in a while. I got no chalk for the file. Um, usually you put chalk on here and it stops it from plugging up, but that's not such a big issue on this where it is so hard comes off in such small pieces it doesn't plug the file up anyway. That's usually just your soft valuable steel if you have that issue with. An important thing to remember is to uh, make sure it's smooth. You know you don't want to be ripping up the inside of your brass. So I got one of these little sanding blocks. We actually use these for cleaning the eggs for the chickens. But uh, they work pretty good. It takes any sharp edges off. All right, give this a little measure. So I took a little bit off up there at 319. Let me drop down. You know, it, it's staying right at, at what's going on here. I may not have had my caliber zero the first time I did this. Because I had it down to 308 or 309. Still at 309 and 310. Now brass does have a bit of memory, it will spring back a bit. Uh, most metals will, aluminum not so much, but... So, I'm going to have to take this down below 308 because I know, I know it's right around 308 as is. And I don't want to expand it anymore, so I can take another couple thousandths off here and see what happens. I'll be back to you guys when I'm done.
So if there's any machinists watching, right now would be a really good time to close your eyes. You know what? That stuff is really fucking hard because even that grinding only took off one and a half thousands. Okay, so I think this is going to work quite well. This is a full length size case. As you can see, it goes all the way up to within three mil before it fetches up. So that'll be perfect. That'll give me my bell that I need for any any um, jack or uh, cast bullets. And it's not going to resize the whole thing when I want to do jacketed, so it's perfect. Okay, so this will be the test before I try and drop one of these 308, oops, 308 bullets in there after it was through the expander. It would fall right down inside of the case, so that's perfect. Now it still pushes back in, but I expected that. Um, it's only at 308 to start with, so. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.